We have three telehandler models. The Kramer KT557 and its NZG model 986. The Kramer 5507 is NZG model 987. And the Vaca TH755 is NZG model 988. All these machines look very similar because they're from the Vaca group. And these models are in the larger scale of 1 to 32. The packaging for the models is the same, they just have different branding. And we will open up the Kramer KT557. Out of the box comes a pair of expanded polystyrene trays, and they are sealed together with tape. A swish of the knife lets us separate the trays, and we see the model wrapped in soft paper. And then we can use the giant hand crane to carefully lift out the model. All of the models have a bag containing the same spare parts of beacon lights, pins and a spring. After that we just need to take off some securing tape. And there's no assembly to do on these models because they are complete out of the box. These three models are essentially the same but with different branding. And we'll start underneath and can see that the transmission is modelled as are the axle details. The tyres look very good with their distinctive tread pattern. They are mounted on nicely detailed wheels and the wheel arches above are plastic, probably like the real machines. There's also a safety bar modelled. The cab has got a nice thin set of frames which are realistically detailed and the small hinges are highlighted. There's a grill behind, and there are also plastic mirrors, and at the back there's a beacon light. Below the cab there's a highlighted filler cap, and there are textured steps. The inside of the cab is very detailed, which the larger 1 to 32 scale allows. And at the front there's a very thin windscreen wiper, and also lights and a protection grill on top. Behind the cab there are more work lights and graphics and a nice soft hydraulic hose connection to the boom. The light stalks are plastic and there's a wedge, and the rear wheel arch is plastic. At the back there are more graphics and there are the two counterweight blocks, and on the engine side there's a decent looking exhaust, and at the front there's a large plastic mirror assembly. The hydraulic detailing underneath the boom is very good, and moving to the top of the boom there are more graphics including a small warning notice. This particular machine seems to be aimed at the agricultural market, and so it comes with a nice metal shovel, and it has a hydraulically operated grab function. The other two versions of the model are very similar, and this is the Kramer version, and the differences are really limited to the colour scheme and graphics. However, this machine and the Vaca Neusen do have a different tool at the front, and that's a pair of forks. And again, the Vaca Neusen model is the same as the Kramer, but just with different graphics. Starting underneath and all of the wheels turn independently and just like the real machine both axles steer independently. The range of movement is very good and so that the machine can handle rough terrain the rear axle oscillates. Here we are out on the Cranes Etc test track and these models roll very smoothly. And if you ever feel like turning a corner in your life, the steering on these is very good. Not only that, but you can do a passable impression of a crab. Let's move on to the telehandler function. And raising the boom is precise because of the stiffness of the hydraulic rams. The lift height is excellent and you can rotate the angle of the attachment. And for that extra bit of reach, you can go telescopic. The stability of the model is very good and there's no problem at all lowering the boom at full extension. Two of the models come with adjustable forks and the KT557 has the shovel. The grab opens very nicely and it will hold any pose that you set and the all important tipping angle is also very good. And if we go the other way, we can get the carry angle and that's perfectly fine too. Each of the models has the flexibility to be able to remove the attachments, and you achieve that by pulling out four steel pins. <music> the 
These are very nicely made tele handler models by NZG. The larger scale gives them a nice chunky feeling and they offer a good balance of detail with precise functionality. These models look good and they fit well with others in 1 to 32 scale and they're certainly good enough overall to be rated as very good. Oh.